Eastman is the world's number one producer of cellulose acetate. But just three years ago, the film and fiber shop was nothing short of a maintenance nightmare. The product was below standards, and the amount of waste was staggering. The problem was the valves that controlled the production system. Uh, in a continuous process, we have four mainstream systems. And if one of those systems is shut down because we have to work on a valve, of course, that cuts our uh, operation 25 percent. Uh, we were having as many as three or four valve failures per day uh, in our process. So all we were doing was spending time running back and forth, uh, maybe on one job on one system where we already had a slowdown maybe to clean that system. We would have to leave that job and go to another system to work on an A-priority job to get it back running so you can imagine the headaches that, that we incurred in that. And it was an expensive headache at that. So a special team was formed to improve the quality and efficiency of the process. So what we did was we uh, researched all the valves that were on the market, and the closest thing we could find of what we needed was the Velen full bore metal seated ball valve. Uh, it really wasn't exactly what we wanted, but Velen was willing to work with us. So we went to uh, Montreal and uh, we took a team of Eastman people and got with their people, and we made some changes in the valve. Uh, we changed the stem to better fit our needs and uh, we changed the seating surfaces to uh, meet our needs and uh, use some exotic metals and then we took the valve and a step further and uh, uh, had it lined with Teflon. It was a unique process that we used. We have the only stainless steel uh, metal seated ball valve that's completely lined as far as I know in the world. It was a major innovation for Eastman and most importantly it worked. The data we've kept since we've completed installation on these valves, we've had no failures on our VLAN valves uh, for over 52 weeks. Prior to the installation of these new dope valves, more than a million pounds of finished product was being lost every year due to faulty valves. That product had already been sold. Well, since the new valves have gone in, that product loss has been cut to zero. The new valves are already saving Eastman well over half a million dollars a year in lost product. They have also resulted in an improved safety record for plant maintenance and a dramatic reduction in the number of environmental problems caused by spills and accidental releases. In recognition of its outstanding work, the Dope Valve Improvement Project Team has been selected as one of the presenters at the 1992 Eastman Quality Recognition Day program. For Eastman Newsbreak, this is Mark Wright reporting. I want to congratulate all the members of the Dope Valve Improvement Project on the success of their project. This is one of the teams that will be highlighted in the upcoming Quality Day Conference on October 14th. Hello, I'm Ken Clevenger of the Plant Maintenance Division. Today we would like to present a success story on finding and developing a reliable valve to be used in dope service in the fiber esters processing section. Now, this is a success story, not just about a valve, but about the extraordinary amount of teamwork involved and the partnership between our mechanics, operators, customers, and suppliers to find such a valve. All are represented here today. Our pursuit of a quality valve began about three years ago when operations asked plant maintenance to get 50 new dope valves. At that time, we were having major problems with our existing valves in fiber dope service, with a failure rate of three valves a day in the fiber esters processing area. One problem was that many of our old valves had been overhauled umpteen times. Another problem was restriction of dope flow, which in turn caused line vibration and pump cavitation, all of which caused quality control problems. We were also experiencing safety, environmental, and cleanup problems due to leakage of fiber acetate dope from existing valves. Hours of cleanup time per week were required, and we were having at least two system shutdowns per week due to the salt buildup on the valves. Where to begin to look for the right valve was the question but let Jerry Egan tell you how this problem was solved. Thanks, Ken. 
Our challenge was to find the best valve for dope service. The team had decided in advance on certain criteria a valve must meet to satisfy our needs. The valve had to be easy to work on, allow full flow, have accessible parts, be serviced by a local distributor, be easy to clean, durable, with a positive seal, and be reasonably priced. After trying four different valves in addition to compiling research from our engineering department, we discovered that no existing valves would solve all of our problems. The team determined that the Veland valve was our best choice because Veland agreed to work with us to redesign the valve if the one we tested needed modification. We learned very early that the stem wasn't strong enough and that the Teflon seats didn't meet our needs. So, off we went to Montreal. Our representatives from operations, maintenance, and engineering as well as Hijoka, the local distributor, sat down at the table with Beelan representatives and literally brainstormed and sketched out possible valve improvements for hours on end. This resulted in our going to a Nitronic 50 stem, increasing stem strength by 300%, and in our using a Stellite metal seat. Then, after installing 31 valves in 1990, we began to experience corrosion problems with the chrome plating on the ball in the acetic acid environment. Beelan came to Kingsport to work with our team in materials engineering to solve this problem. We once again modified the valve to use a 316 stainless steel ball with a raised stellite surface. As you can tell, our quality partnership with Beelan Valve Company was paying off again and again. In Mr. Beelan's own words, we're going to work with Eastman and do whatever we need to do to help you get the valve you need. Customer satisfaction is really high in Fiber Estes for good reason. We celebrated 61 weeks without a valve failure. One big factor in our success is certainly the VM valve because it has helped us achieve quality control. It has helped decrease our downtime, improved our productivity, and improved our quality. But even beyond that, it has improved safety and environmental concerns. Hats off to the Veland Valve and other innovations for improving the quality of our product. As of today, the Veland Valves have gone over a year without a failure. In summary, by being involved in the Dope Valve Improvement Project, our team members and all of our operators and mechanics have been given an exciting opportunity to be key players in a quality supplier-customer partnership. How many times does one get the chance to be the part of a success story like this one? To be part of the development of the only full-bore, metal-seated, stainless steel, Teflon line ball valve in the world. Thanks for letting us share our success story today.